We live. We in here, man. Hope all is well with the family uh, on this beautiful day. Got the baldy out today for the fam. You see how we do it. Got to let that bad boy breathe every now and then. Usually I got a cap on, but I'm going to let the, let the baldy rock today, man. And we got a very extremely important show today. Now, originally, I was going to do this show that was inspired by uh, a conversation I had today uh, by one of my special forces guys, actually in the BMT uh, 2.0 group. Had a really good conversation with him. I chop it up with him pretty often, man, because I like to get, uh, you know, just a very kind of like good perspective on, 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 on business and amongst other things, business and travel. And we got a lot of military vets in the group shot to all my military vets, but they definitely think of like a very logical way. All right. You know, guys that have been highly trained in the military and I like to just get their perspective on things. And this is what kind of spawned this conversation that I had earlier today kind of spawn what we're going to be talking about today because i feel like i haven't really been able to convey the message enough to to youtube family i know that the we have i have more of a a, a larger following on youtube than the actual facebook group we were about five thousand at the black man travels 2.0 facebook group and i go live in there and i do discuss you know uh, what we're doing with this mobile app uh in the group more so than i do on youtube now just to bring you guys current on what we're doing on this mobile app is we're getting everything together uh, logistically as far as what roles are people going to play in the development of this app. All right. Uh, as you probably some of you guys already know, we've been developing an app for quite some time. Uh, but now we definitely have it together, um, you know, in concerns of building a platform it's definitely more than originally i thought it was going to take you know what i'm saying it's it's a big it's a big job you know and it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of money so in the past we have developed a couple of other apps and we never released them because the quality of the apps it just wasn't it was subpar in me and cardell's opinion all right so as we're doing research trying to you know bring something of quality to the brotherhood we realized that it was a lot of legalities coming along with this uh having your own platform as well now i want to really convey this message to the family on how important it is in this video to control a narrative and to have our own form of communication how, how extremely important it is to have our own form of communication and we're definitely going to get to that let me shout a few people in the room real quick and we're going to get back to flowing. We got Reese in the room. What's good, brother? What's good? We got MJ Hines in the building. What's going on, MJ Hines? Apex Traveler. Brazil is king. Yeah, man, Brazil is definitely lit. It's nice out here, most definitely. We got Mr. GG Zero Money Down Real Estate Structures, bro. I love that name, man. Uh, he says, what's up, room? We got Body Thug in the building. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. So this is like an official uh, announcement video on what is to come in the future as far as developing the mobile app and the direction that we want to take the bmt brand and the passport bros brand uh in as far as um being able to communicate each with each other somewhat i would say offline or off the grid off the radar right now in talking to my special forces friend he was telling me that you know of course uh, certain institutions work with Facebook very closely. You know, I don't want to put all my business, you know, all our business out there as far as the conversation goes, especially in respects to him. But he was saying that um, they do work with communicating with Facebook. They do have to get certain orders to be able to, you know, do certain things within the, you know, it's still somewhat of a process, but they do work hand in hand uh, with social media, you know, and dealings with, you know, any type of uh, crime or investigations, so forth. And he was telling me that right now, Facebook has really morphed into groups more so than personal pages, right? Meaning that more people are engaging in private groups than they actually are on their individual Facebook pages. And they have a special sector of Facebook. And I'm going to be very careful so I don't miss my words here. We don't get the live taken down. Uh, because YouTube is a form of social media as well. But 
they have specific uh, employees that pretty much investigate or monitor these certain groups. All right. If anybody's been in the Facebook group, you will know that we have been having certain issues, me and Cardell, with just, you know, approving posts, uh, uh, comments are always getting taken down. The thing about being on a platform uh, that's controlled and owned by people of a different culture, they don't understand the innuendo language that we use to communicate with each other. It could be deemed as hate speech or some form of cyber bullying just by the way we're talking. You know, even though it might be like slang or something, they will look at that like, oh, that's a strike against the group. And it's we talking about just in the comment section. So that's what really spawned me and Cardell to say, hey, bro, we got to do something about this. We got all these all these brothers in here traveling the world and they can take the group away from us at any time. We have to be able to communicate amongst each other. And that's why I really want to convey this message to the YouTube family on how important it is and not only controlling, you know, your own self image as a group of men, but also controlling the narrative. Now, quick side note real quick, man. Um, you know, I was looking through YouTube and uh, I'm always looking at different travel videos just to see how I can kind of, you know, step up my game and all that good stuff. I'm looking at different travel videos and I see a video by one very popular YouTuber. And I see a video by another popular YouTuber. They both have strong followings. Um, and they, they was in the same exact country, all right? The country of Nigeria, right? Now, the this YouTuber, right, on this side, showed all the up and coming and the beauty of Nigeria, right? All the up and coming industries in Nigeria, um, all the opportunities in Nigeria, the nice restaurants in Nigeria. You know, he was really, you know, his brand on YouTube is always showing kind of like the upper class lifestyle, the medium to upper class lifestyle of these foreign countries. Many of you familiar uh, with uh, Passport Heavy. So he likes to go to these countries and he always shows the brighter side of things. Now, we all know that in every country around the world, in at least 95 percent of these countries, there's going to be a upper class and a stream low class, you know, stream poverty. You know, that's just the way in most capitalist societies work. Right. But we got the other YouTuber. Um, his name's escape escapes me right now, but we got another popular YouTuber who goes to the same country and shows the poverty and shows the corruption. Now, both of these are good reporting in my opinion, both of these are quality reporting because in most instances, they're both telling the truth. But as you can see, we both have a choice of the narrative or they have a choice of the narrative that they want to push. And they're giving us a choice. If I pull up Nigeria on YouTube, I can see the good and the bad. All right. The thing about certain platforms is they only going to give you their narrative. You see what I'm saying? Like we don't really have as much choice as we think we do. And they it's easily to control something when you have the platform, you know, I'll, you know, and the thing about it is I was telling uh, some of the guys in the group and I went live in the group a couple of days ago. I was like, listen, man, um, you know, they're making money off your life. What do I mean by that? I mean, we're providing content to that particular platform and they're not paying you anything. You feel me? They're not paying nobody anything. There's no share of profits on this particular social platform. All right. I'm not talking about YouTube. I'm talking about, you know, Facebook basically. So that's another, uh, important factor that you're spending all this time on this, per on this platform and they're controlling what you see in a nutshell, as far as ads and certain amounts of content to be able to control a narrative, man. All right. Shout out to this Jay Clyde out there in Medellin. What's going on, brother? I seen you on Jay, uh, Brazil, yes, it's uh, live yesterday. Shout out to you. We got the great pretender. We got Grego in the building. I saw you too, man. I've been keeping up with you guys. There's no music. This stream is going to be, this is a, like, like, yeah, okay, let me get something straight real quick, man. Shout out to Dono Music. What up, MOT? Uh, in the in forms of, I know we, I like to go back and forth with PUA coaches and stuff like that. That's all in fun, man. That's YouTube. You know, it's banter. It's good entertainment. But we got to learn how to separate entertainment from actual 
business moves and empowering each other on how important that is. I don't wish no bad on any of the, the PUA coach community or anything like that. We're talking about business here right now. We're talking about empowering each other on how important it is to control a narrative and to control our platform. All right. Um, so that's very, very important for us. And it's time for us as a group of men to kind of move off. And I'm gonna address this, I'm gonna address these issues um later on tonight on uh Big Boss Stream. Make sure you guys tune in to Big Boss Stream later on tonight. Um, we're gonna go live in probably about um an hour, 30 minutes. So probably a few minutes after this stream ends, I'm gonna go on his platform and I'm gonna address uh, certain uh, certain things that's been going around on, on YouTube, you know, about me, certain false narratives and false videos. I'm going to address all that on his channel. Um, but for the purpose of this video we're making right now, man, uh, we're talking about something that's empowering, that's positive, and that's going to be a good look for all of us. It's going to be beneficial to all of us. And that's something new. That's something new because that's not the norm in our communities or in our society, especially, specifically, black men we typically don't really move as a unit in something that would benefit us as a group we're so helpful to other groups of people <laughs> and making them billions and gazillions of dollars they turn our, our backs on us right and push that money into something uh that would would hurt us actually uh, this is something new and what me and Cardell want to do and the purpose of building this and trying to gain you guys trust basically working hard giving you guys information is in order for us to make a power move together something that would benefit all of us as a group of traveling black men all right it, it, this is a, a very important movement and that's the end all goal like i said we can go back and forth we can joke it's youtube it's entertainment that's cool but we got to be able to separate entertainment and joking to actual business all right and I think some of these guys, you know, there's a lot of guys on YouTube with channels that don't really understand the business of not only YouTube, but don't really understand business in general, uh, in my opinion. You know, just because you don't want to do business with a certain person, that doesn't automatically mean beef. We got this hip hop thing that, oh, OK, oh, y'all got y'all had words. It's always always beef. You know, no, nah, everything is not beef. When you're doing business, business is a very serious thing, man. Uh, I don't take business lightly. And I know a lot of you guys don't take business lightly, you know, but you got guys out here that will start something and not put their all into it and then complain about it when it doesn't work out. And then they'll drag you down um, because you're doing business with them and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Business is about a marriage. It's a team. All right. Everybody got to play their role. And then when you're going into business with somebody, you really better make sure that that guy's validated or he will waste all your time and all your investments and all your money. And I know a lot of us have been through that, you know, trying to start record labels or start different businesses. And then, you know, you try to start them with your homeboys or something and it never really works out because he's doing this, he's doing this. And it's very, very difficult to hold somebody accountable. All right. So that's what we're getting together right now. We're getting the team together. Me and Cardell uh, talking to a project manager who builds apps for uh, companies like Ford. All right. Because we're not subject experts on that certain uh, technology, of, you know, mobile and a mobile app. We know what we want, but as far as the coding and the development, we have to hire uh, a project manager, a, a, another brother who I'm going to bring onto the platform. This mobile app is going to be a whole series. This is going to be a whole series, man. So um, you guys definitely stay tuned. But we want you guys to, to come along with us in this process, all right, of building our own platform. And this is why I'm never going to really respond to any form of, uh, of negativity or trolling or something like that because we got business to handle. You know what I'm saying? We got moves. We got goals. We're trying to approach milestones. This movement is extremely important, especially in th this day and age or uh with all we have going on right now uh we're really at a level or, or a point i'm sorry of no return right now but a lot of guys aren't paying attention to it a lot of guys are still kind of caught up in what i call that black male second childhood oh we beefing oh i'm gonna play the 50 cent role i'm beefing i'm going at this cat i'm making little videos about this cat i'm putting you know, I'm I'm uh photoshopping people pictures and 
bro, that's that's childish. That's teenage stuff. You feel me? And a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of black males are still caught up in that little that little circle, man. They might have lived at home with their moms a little too long because we have a problem with growth in our communities. Bro, grown man business, bro. Grown man business, bro. You know, you got to take the emotions out of it. and You got to be able to work with other black men, all right, to accomplish goals. You got to hold each other accountable. Steel sharp as steel. Nobody is sharp 24-7. Anybody can drop the ball. But if you're a team, you'll be able to pick up the ball and go to your destination. All right. Let me catch some of these chats real quick. Shout out to uh Donovan 51. She shot the BMC in Rio in a couple of weeks. I should still be down here, bro. Travel Liddy Way. Was foreign sending was foreign sending shots? Uh I don't know who's foreign sending shots, bro. Shay Star says I'm down. Okay, we got Reese. Okay, we're getting back on the subject. It's definitely important. Keep going, bro. You in, you into something. You can see it. I can believe it. Keep achieving, brother. Yeah, man, this is serious business here, man. This is very serious business. Long to, uh, Who's that? Travis Harris, long time. Everybody that came across you met, you know you're super real on my way to sit down with you again. Shout out to Tavares Harris. Oh, that's my, that's my God, Tavares. What up, Tavares? It's been a minute, man. It's been a minute. Reese says all facts. Global paper, man. Global paper. You got to come up with a new saying, bro. You definitely got to come up uh, with a new saying. So I just want to preface that, man, on how important it is for us to be able to come together. All right. So we're going to start. All right. This is the, the official announcement. We're going to start a crowd crowdfunding Kickstarter campaign once we come up with the official numbers of what we need to build the BMT mobile app. And the good thing is um, we do have enough reach and enough people within our network to be able to raise a good amount of money. Because like I said, um, in the live yesterday, uh, yeah, yesterday in the Facebook group, um, I told Cardell to, to, to tell his, 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 his guy, the project manager for the app, I said, charge us what you would charge any other company. I don't want the homeboy price. All right. I, I want, I want you to put us on the same level as you would put a fortune 500 company. All right. Then he told me the price, and I said, "Okay, well, hold on, bro. Let's <laughs> hold on a minute." But he, but that garnered respect from him, right? He said, "Yeah, yeah, bro. You asked me the price. I told you the real price, but I like the way you came at me. You know, I like the way you and Cardell do business. I like the way you guys work because you want something that's professional, all right?" And I was, in, I'm going to go in more detail in the private Facebook group. Uh, more so, I go on YouTube because YouTube is, you know, everybody watches YouTube. You don't want to put all the you know the uh benefits and all that you know the features of the app on youtube you can get some of that more so in the in the in the facebook group we'll talk about uh some of the benefits of actually having it uh but um the most important thing is is the fact that we have the means to be able to build a very professional platform where we can kind of communicate uh along amongst each other without any outside interference and uh, going back to the conversation I had with, with my special forces guy uh, in the group, he was just telling me, he was like, man, at war, the first thing you do to your enemy is you cut off a line, the lines of communication. You know, when they bur built, uh, burnt down Black Wall Street, the very first thing them, uh, them people did was they cut the phone lines. You know, if you remember with Black Wall Street, they cut the phone lines. So people went, wasn't able to communicate with each other. And right now, our phone lines, to a certain degree, as a group of men, I'm going to emphasize that men, you know, it's, it's somewhat difficult, man. It's somewhat difficult um, to be able to communicate as a group without any type of outside interference because they don't really understand the lingo uh, within our culture. All right. Shout out to Cortez Smith. What's going on, Cortez? Uh, Tavares has in the building again. He said, yes, sir. Black boss moves as black kings. That's right. Iman Perry. What's going on, Iman? What's going on, bro? You know? So, yeah, man, you know, uh, the focus is going to remain the focus. Uh, the focus uh, was always to kind of move off these platforms and kind of have our own, uh, our own situation, basically. That's always been the focus. And then we start there and then we're able to build up. Once we build 
trust uh, with each other, we can go further. And now we can start looking into different real estate projects. All right. And keep in mind, man, having a paywall up will keep out keep out a lot of riffraff as well. You know, guys who not about no business, guys who don't believe in the movement. OK, that's cool. That's I don't have an issue with that whatsoever. I'm going to prove to you that me and the team are going to work extremely hard to be able to bring you something of value that's going to improve your life. You're right. The people that don't believe it. Fine. You can go over there. But as far as communicating with each other, we're going to put that paywall up. Right. And all the naysayers are going to be out of the way. And that's going to filter out a lot of people that, you know, wasn't buying any business in the first place. All right. So, yeah, man. And I, this in this series, this mobile app series, uh, I'm going to bring the project manager on me and Cardell. We're going to go live on uh, and we're going to field, you know, all your questions as many questions as we can more so in the private Facebook group, but we're also going to do this here too. Uh, before we start the campaign, you know, just to preface everything, you know, we're going to do this before we start the campaign. Definitely when we get a, a concrete number on exactly how much it's going to cost to get into development to complete phase one of the BMT mobile app guys. So get excited. All right. We started in 22, 2022 off with a bang. All right. Something empowering, something positive. We're going to remain positive, man. Um, despite some of the negativity that's going on in the, in the, in, you know, the travel community or whatnot, you know, uh, you're going to always be faced with certain, you know, issues and whatnot. You already know how I go. We, we all from the similar communities. We know how, how negative energy rolls. Shout out to, shout out to Reese. Once again, that's angel. You say you have our support hundred percent. I appreciate that, man. Um, I, I really appreciate that. You know, it was very important for me to do this video because, like I said, I know we joke around. You know, we had a, a classic show yesterday. Uh, it was it was an amazing show, man. Very entertaining show. Uh, we had uh, ARC on here. Uh, we had MT. We had uh, uh, it, Man of Tomorrow on here, Master Teacher, uh, QB. You know, we had a couple of guys, some heavy hitters in here. And it was a good show. We was going back and forth. And we, was, we was going, you know, stating some true statements about – you know, traveling and about dating overseas. And, and those are very important, but we got to find a way to be able to switch gears when it's time to switch gears. It's cool to have those conversations, man. Those conversations are, are very enlightening. It's good information. It's good banter, but we got to be able to switch into gears and say, okay, we got to get this done. We got to talk about some business today. All right. We got to get some stuff done. We got to really, you know, in 2022, you know, move the ball a little bit further in our favor, man. Uh, it's very important, extremely important. And um, I take business very seriously. I know Cardell does, uh, and I know you guys do as well, man. Like I said, it's going to be extremely beneficial. Uh, Shea Star said, classic show. You know what, Cortez? Th that's the point, man. You know, all them brothers, Man of Tomorrow, MT1, ARC, uh, myself, we can have a discourse and a disagreement, but still be cordial with each other. You know what I'm saying? We can present the facts. Uh, we can have a very logical conversation about a certain subject and we can agree to disagree and be respectful about it and not go our certain ways. I mean, it's a big difference in, you know, some cats, you know, I think, uh, I don't, I'm not going to say the derogatory term towards it, but certain, certain guys and you got black men. All right, black men over here that know how to handle business and conduct business in a certain way with each other without being disrespectful. And that's the business. Those are the guys I want to do business with. You know, I don't want to do I don't want to do business with guys who are still growing and are still extremely immature that will sit there and, and just, you know, just do a little janky stuff, take little shots. And man, that's childish, bro. If you got an issue with me, just wait till you see me and we can talk about it, you know, or hit me on the phone. You know, whatever issues you might have or we might have with each other, it's an open line of communication, you know, for somebody to sit there. And I'm going to talk about this all on Big Boss Show. Make sure you guys tune in. But, you know, to take it to another route of of, of hip hop, I like to call it disrespect. And to go that route, to me, it's extremely childish, immature, and even feminine in certain ways. All right, let me catch some of these. Uh, Okay, here we go. Now, Mucha, Muchi T. 
Okay, Aaron West division in terms of bringing more brothers to join hands and invest in these spots. We spend so much dollars, entertainment, food, and real estate. Yeah, man, the first level, the first step is, uh, I would say, the mobile app. You know, the fact that we can communicate with each other, we can kind of breed out the riffraff. You feel me? Um, that way we can really share information amongst the brotherhood. Because I know of a lot of opportunities right now in our, in our uh, WhatsApp group. You know, I post different opportunities here in Brazil and I, and I tell people, hey, man, this is what you got to do. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of red tape here. I didn't think it was, but it actually is. We really look into it. But in our WhatsApp group, we're able to communicate with each other the business opportunities that we see overseas. You know, shout out to my guys in the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic has a lot of opportunities. You know, you got some countries that are friendly to foreign investors and you got some countries that are not too friendly to foreign investors. You want to make sure you do it. And you got some certain countries that will bring you in and the guys have been friendly, but they'll screw you over in a heartbeat and there's nothing you can do about it. All right. There's no court here that you can sue uh, them for them just taking your money and going off with it. You feel me? They'll riffraff you quickly in these foreign countries. So we talk about that in the WhatsApp group, you know, certain things that I can't put out there, you know, even in the, in the BMT group to a certain degree, because you got some, some naysayers in there. I remember, man, I was having a conversation with a guy in Medellin, Colombia. Um, shout out to my bro, uh, Kobe. And Kobe was going around and, you know, what I love about Kobe is Kobe, you know, he has vision, right? This is the CEO and co-founder of LOE Cigars. He has vision. I love being around other black men with vision, bro. So while some of these guys talking about whatever they're talking about, women, whatever, you know, we're discussing, oh, you can put some here. Oh, this is available right here. I'm, I wonder how much they want for this building. You know, oh, that's how much they want. Well, let me call my guy over here. I ask him, hey, you know, my boy got a lawyer out here. We can ask him. And then you got that naysayer that comes in. Man, I wouldn't do that, bro. I don't know, man. You really want to do that, bro? Oh, I don't know what that would happen with that, man. I'm not sure. What's, bro, in the terms of just, you know, being the idea guy, let the idea flourish. Like, don't hinder somebody else for them having vision. You feel me? And I told, and I kind of checked the dude that particular night. I'm like, bro, hold up, man. You don't know. Yeah, but man, you know, how would you feel if you if you was if you was a country, would you want some foreign investments like that? I'm like, bro, listen, America's built on foreign investment. All the foreign business owners in America, come on, we can't do the same thing in their countries where our dollar go farther, you know, and that's the type of stuff I'm talking about, man. Uh being around up with other brothers that have certain type of vision and, and Kobe is successful. This other brother, he's not that successful, in my opinion, from what I can tell. You know, successful black men have vision, right? And you do got black men and brothers uh, own a business in different countries right now as we speak. But you probably just don't know it. So if you don't know it, you probably don't think it's possible, but it is possible. All right, let me catch this follow out super chat real quick by my brother Reese. He says, to be honest, looking forward to posting up somewhere in the world, getting on the app and seeing where brothers in that country that can show me around. Yeah, most definitely, man. Most definitely. Most definitely. It's definitely going to be an open line of communication. And we got some really good features of the app to connect you with those brothers, too. Shout out to Reese for the follow our Super Chat. Passport link. Passport is that. Inker link. That says we need to expand. Let people see our value worldwide. Most definitely, man. Out to Roundtree says weed them out. Most definitely, man. Most definitely. We got A9 in the room. Do me a favor, guys. Hit that like button. You know, now this series is going to get, is going to get bigger. You know, we got a few people here now, you know, I know the shows we do, you know, with the PUA coaches and all the other good stuff and the travel shows and stuff like that, you know, we have more, but this is definitely going to be a series leading up until we have the uh, mobile app completed. The first phase completed. Recess success starts in the mind. I definitely agree. Charles explores in the building. <laughs> I appreciate it. I see it's not into the PUA, but he sounded informed. Yeah, I like yo yo me and uh ARC man um we've been on uh definitely been on a few panels like way back in the day uh on O'Shea's show. Um uh, so we definitely know of each other but you know the reason I like ARC is the way he kind of comes at it. He's like, "Yo, I don't have a problem with passport, bro." You know, I'm I'm not saying what you I'm not disputing what you guys are saying about, you know, dating women in foreign countries. 
You know, he has a very logical perspective, you know. And it was an excellent show yesterday, but he just got a little too wild, man. So I had to put it on the Patreon because we were talking, uh, you know, we were talking, we were talking pretty wild on that show yesterday. Yeah, I had to put it on private, man. You know, I had to put it on private. Like I say, um, some things can be flagged and deemed, you know, even though we know it's the lingo, you know, we say certain words and everything. And uh, yeah, you know, you can't talk freely as you will want. So some things would definitely, you know, get taken down and get put on Patreon. That's one of them shows that were taken down. But uh, Yasuki, you can, you can see uh, a clip of that video on the YouTube channel now. It's like, the, I think I posted it this morning. Mike Fletcher. Oh, what's up, Mike Fletcher with the $20 Super Chat? Man, I really appreciate that. He says, make sure you include Europe in the app. <laughs> Some of us like the Ice Queens, LOL, for, for sure, man. And we're going to have Xavier, a whole section of the app, uh, Eastern Europe, you know. I mean, the, the, the layout, we've been at the layout now. We got the design. I mean, it's it's nice, man. You know, the fact that, I mean, we got some nice features. We can't really go into the actual features. I was told uh, by the project manager, he was like, yo, Aaron, you know, it's cool to mention a few things, man. But, you know, you mentioned too much. You know, you got them little listeners out there. Uh, who has the same, you know, connections that you do. But it's going to be some nice features. You know, you're going to be surprised. You're going to be, guys going to be surprised by the quality of what that app is, is going to be detailed, bro. And it's going to be ours. It's going to be us. And we're, it's made by us, right? Developed by us. You know, not necessarily the coding and the technicals, but you know what I mean? It's designed by us. It's specifically made for traveling, for men traveling the world. All right. Shout out to Trey D. He says, BMT really changed my life. That's what's up. That's 100, man. I appreciate that, my bro. I appreciate that. Much respect. <laughs> yeah, I can say. Yeah, 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 I see it's cool, man. <laughs> Real quick. That's a good point. <laughs> I don't want to get too far off subject, but yeah, that's why y'all love ARC. ARC is, man, he could be a top politician. He could be a top politician, man. Excuse me. He could be a top politician, most definitely, because you won't even notice when he decides, like, when he goes into that mode, he can definitely change the direction of the conversation and avoid the questions. <laughs> I don't know if my bro went to school and political talk or something like that, but, you know, I peeped it. You know, everybody on the panel peeped it. But, you know, when somebody gets loud and, and kind of, you know, emotional, you kind of be like, oh, OK, you know, uh, uh, uh huh. You know, <laughs> that was a good show, man. That was classic. Yeah. yeah say stuff. Uh, FUBU for us by us all day. Yeah, it's going to be dope. It's going to be real dope, man. You know, um, I can't wait. I can't wait because this right here, bro, once we get it developed and made, it's going to shut a lot of people up. I'm telling you. You know, when when you accomplish a goal like that, a major milestone, like milestone, you know, it's gonna look good on the whole passport bro community because you can talk what you want to talk. You can say dudes are doing this, doing that, doing you know whatever. But at the end of the day, you're gonna see okay, they don't have no app. That sector of YouTube don't have an app. These dudes don't got this. These dudes don't got this. What has that specific sector really done to benefit their group? You know, what have the PUA coach community really done to benefit all the people that really follow them? You see what I'm saying? You get to that level. What is this particular group? What have they done? And the cool thing about the app, like I said, I got to be real, you know, um, but I can say this part about one of the features is the, 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 the vlog, the blog element of it, right? You know, like you got our own little travel vlog in there with different articles to kind of put you guys, you know, you got some good information. So it's your own form of news told to you by black men. And that's going to be a sector of the app too. So we're definitely going to hire some writers. So if you know some guys that don't mind writing different stories about their travels, also don't mind, you know, um, you know, keeping up on the news, we're going to have that portion of it as well. And that's going to be a very important man. I remember, I remember when I worked in this building, I told this story before, this was like way back in the day when I was in college. I worked in the most richest building of Mount Paran in Atlanta. This building had to be, this building was full of like uh, real estate, investment bankers, uh, headhunters. I mean, everything was marble. The office were like, were 
big and you know like it was just you know a very accomplished building man i mean I, the rent for this building probably was through the roof and you had um certain offices in this building you had the guys from uh, pepsi in there you know what i'm saying like you know you got corporations you got the whole pepsi building but the guys that actually run pepsi don't actually they're not actually in that building you know they don't want to run into the everyday employees that they're managing and you know talking crazy to and everything like that they actually have their own little separate office amongst the other rich officers right so what i really i learned a lot in that building because i used to i used to be security and i used to go through the offices and i should see what books they used to read and i broke okay, i'm gonna buy this book off amazon i'm gonna buy this book i'm gonna buy this book right and um what i realized one day you know the wall street journal was um delivered every day nice after deliver the newspapers and one day the wall street journal um the guy uh showed up late he showed up late he didn't show up to like two or three o'clock or something he had some type of trap or whatever it was and those ceos and officers went crazy they kept coming to the security desk hey where's the wall street journal hey this is i mean the internet was going on facebook was going on back then um but they were adamant about getting their wall street journal and i'm like why is this why is this newspaper so important to these guys so I started to buy me a subscription to the Wall Street Journal. And I used to force myself to read it because it wasn't, you know, I'm like, man, I'm not really interested in all these geopolitics and stuff. But I used to read a little bit of it. And I'd be like, yo, so this is the real news. Oh, snap. This is this is the news. Not what the people see on TV. You know, I'm just looking at this. I'm saying, okay, this is not even coming on the news. Oh, this is financial news. This is what to, oh, this is what to invest in. Oh, this is why this company is doing this. Oh, they got a new CEO. This is why they stock went down. You know, you, you see what I'm saying? That form of communication that they have with each other. They know that more, a lot of people don't read the Wall Street Journal. You know, even on the app, you have to subscribe. I'm subscribed to it right now. You got to pay a monthly fee to access the Wall Street Journal. That's how important it is to control the news, to have your own news source written by guys like you. That was an important, extremely important publication. All right. Most brothers don't read the Wall Street Journal. Rightfully so, right? But we can have a form of that on the app. We can have our own little form of reporting the news that is important to us. We can have our own sector of important news that's, that will benefit us, all right? <laughs> we still talking about it? Uh, okay, okay. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. None of the best can take over. So I say, all right, see what's yelling. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, once again, quick show. I got to get ready for this show. I'm going on Big Boss's channel in a few minutes. Um, definitely check out the Patreon if you want to see the full version of the show we did yesterday. Everybody's talking about it in the chat. It definitely was a good show. But I do have a portion of uh, about 20 minutes of it, I think, that's uploaded to the YouTube channel right now. I took out a little sector of it um that wasn't too you know too racy so uh guys make sure you check that out as well once again appreciate all the support appreciate all the super chats and everybody that's on the patreon page remember this is going to be a series so i'm going to be bringing in uh cardale uh, sometime this week i'm gonna bring in the mobile app developer the project manager of that as well and uh we're going to make an announcement we get a concrete figure of what how much money we need to raise to be able to complete phase one of the mobile app guys hope all is well make sure you tune in to big boss channel tonight peace